And it says we're live. It's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. That means it's time for Got Bot Goes Live. And we have a few things to cover tonight. We have some bits and pieces of news of interest, some reactions that I want to do. I want to show a mode for Scorponok that <clears throat> I actually neglected to show during the um, during the uh, review. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit. I'm going to cover... The Earthrise story so far, I had no idea, but apparently this is the story so far. We'll talk about that as well. We're going to do trivia. We're going to have a good time heading into the weekend. I see you guys already coming into the chat. You know how this goes. I got to get a few things ready here. So, of course, bear with me just a few minutes here. I hope you guys are, of course, having a fantastic week as we're heading into the weekend again. Man, where does the time go sometimes, you know? Like, honestly, though, like, things are kind of starting to get back to normal. Like, I'm back to work and stuff. So I was trying to figure out, like, a, a new workflow and a work schedule. The last six months or so has been kind of doing this stuff full time, really. Uh, <laughs> my, my real job is my real job, you know? I'd love to do this full time, but like that's not in the cards right now, man. Uh, hey, Crimson, happy to see you in here. Hey, Jay, happy to see you here, buddy. Jillian, happy to see you. Um, Dragonfly, happy you are in here, my friend. I found the studio series Leadfoot and the MPM Starscream at my target. Good for you. Good for you. I know that you're a movie fan, so I'm happy for you. Um, I just want to... There, I get that up just a little bit. Hey, Calvin. Um, there. Uh, da, 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 da. We're almost there, man. We're almost there. Uh, you call being stranded without a car for a week fun? No. No, if you call if you call being stranded without a car for a week, fun. No, never. Hey, Razor Bear, happy to see you in here. Input, happy to see you in here as well. Uh, I found double crosser and direct hit. I had direct hit power punch in Siege, and I put the review up ages ago. I'm not sure right now what the review number was. Um, I just wonder. I'm going to find out what that is. Hold on, let's find out. Let's find out what that is because. That's kind of going back a little bit. That's kind of going back a little bit. I'm curious now myself as well. Um, direct hit. That didn't. Let's just see here. Um... Episode 637 was direct hit and power punch. I like the duo. I'm uh, I'm a big fan. So uh, congratulations, Jay. Happy to see that you got it, buddy. Uh, as for Double Crosser, not out around here yet, but we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, finally uh, shipped the BNB Dinobots out. I opted to not go with the packaging. Uh, did you do the same when you got yours? I did do the same. I didn't have the packaging. Um, I was I'm not going to keep the packaging anyway. Uh, so I absolutely did the exact same thing, actually, uh, which honestly made me very happy. Okay, so we also have a bit of an unboxing here later on. Uh, you have any damage? No, I did not have any damage at all. Mine are perfect. I have transformed. I've heard some people talk about certain things. I've transformed mine a bunch of times. The only thing that happened, and I could fix it, thankfully, is... Uh, the I was fiddling with the combiner port on Snarl, and whatever I did, however I moved it, it came loose, and I was like, oh, no, I think I broke the combiner port. Now, not that it mattered, because I don't plan to put them in Volcanicus mode anyway, but then I learned that the official Power of the Primes lads have pins that hold the um, like combiner port together. The Black Mamba have screws, so I just screwed it back tight. It was good to go and it hasn't come loose since so it was just a fluke accident was all but damage no nothing uh who's excited for the prime two pack i we're gonna talk about that too jillian you like to jump the gun first things first first oh this is gonna be big first things 
first. Oh, okay. So I love this big guy. No doubt about it. I, I, if you watch the review, you know, I'm smitten. I've said that this is my swan song for Titan class. Uh, it is uh, like, I, I, yeah, I, some people have asked me if I'm in for an arc. Not really. We'll see as, as more goes shown, I guess, but I'm not sold on it yet. Uh, not to say it's not good. It's just, I don't know where I'd display it and stuff. This is the dragon mode, and we've seen some pictures of it, but this is the double-headed dragon mode. And yes, this was actually a mode that Black Zarek did, which was a smaller new body based on the Mega Zarek or Scorponok body. The difference being that that was black. Could this do the double dragon? Absolutely could do the double dragon. Really, all you're doing to do it, and I didn't explain it, but I'm going to explain it now exclusively for you guys here on the live show. Um, really, all you're doing is you're putting him in the scorpion mode, with the difference being that you leave the scorpion legs in the body, you remove the head, it just needs to go laid to the side, and when you bring the claws up over, like, like this, all you're doing is bringing them forward and rotating them. It's really, really simple to get here, but he can do it. It's a weird mode. I've done this. I showed Starscream Wife, and she was like, that's messed up, man. That is messed up. And it is messed up. For the record, I don't think she's come in the chat or anything yet. She is actually uh, eating her supper, and I've got half of mine gone. I'm going to have the other half after because I wanted to come in and spend some time with you guys and i didn't want to be late so that's how you do that you do the scorpion mode you basically take the claws up over and you angle them forward and point them down and you leave the scorpion uh legs in as for the head and the neck piece you just need to lay it aside uh fun fact my neck piece is fine it's, some people told me that apparently the shoulders and the elbows are weak watch the countdown tomorrow because i sort of address it there like i do talk about it there i probably should have talked about it here but mine are fine like my mine can not only hold a deluxe like mine can hold a voyager quite sturdy my ratchets are, are great i hope yours are too uh as a matter of fact speaking of scorponok i see sam in here sam was our uh special executive producer on that video being of course a channel member so i wanted to give a shout out to sam there for that role i greatly appreciate it uh let's see let's go up here just a little bit uh see what you guys have to say um my double dealer and uh, spy four pack is getting ready to ship we want to talk about something i got shipped and something that i got kind of pre-ordered uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, and we'll talk about what I actually got picked up, which isn't too much. It's, I don't have a lot. I don't. It's nothing like that, but I do have something. Um, Sam, sorry you're late, man. Don't worry about it. Don't. I'm just glad that you come in. With the time difference and everything, I'm just glad that you're here. Is that a legit mode or a fan mode? It's a legit mode for Black Zarek in the cartoon. So it's it wasn't a mode that Mega Zarek did, but it was a mode that Black Zarek did, which is the same body type. It's just the Black Zarek is smaller. So technically, yes, it's official, but it's official in the same sort of sense as like uh, Soundwave's lamppost mode is official. You know, like it's official, but it's it's weird and probably shouldn't be official. Um, yeah, it's kind of both. Yeah, it's kind of both. That's right. Uh, hey, Ronan. Analog Ninja, our super chat super fan. I'm so glad that Analog Ninja is here. Fun fact, Analog Ninja thought that the live show was last night and kind of asked me where I was too. So it was nice to be missed. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, according to Cartoon, Ronan said it there. Uh, let's see. It was a form from the show as we go down. Guys, if I'm skipping some stuff, bear with me. I do want to try and get through things somewhat quickly tonight because... I have a very early rise for work tomorrow and I kind of don't want to spend all night... Uh, working as it is. Um, hey, Adamantium Matrix. Happy to see you in here. Uh, not long ago, I just watched your review of Rotorstorm, uh, who I'm waiting on. My, uh, according to where I bought it, it's not released till November, but word is that they're starting to show up at EB Games now. And they haven't showed up here yet, but maybe I'll get my Rotorstorm earlier than originally anticipated. Got the Earthrise Seeker 2-pack on sale. So did I, buddy. So did I. Got it on sale. 
It's hold the 20% thing, right? Right? Uh, the official answer to the question is yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Sam, Sam, check out Sam's comment if you want to know if that mode is official because that is spot on. Uh, yeah, and input's right too. Technically, it was Devil Z and not Black Zarek. That's true. Technically, that's probably like Devil Z's mode because it was Devil Z in Black Zarek's body, um, basically. But yeah, input's actually completely right. Um, let's see. Yeah, you did really blank yesterday. That's okay. We love you anyway, buddy. So I gotta get. Uh, I gotta get the. I gotta get the. Uh, what do we call this here? Uh, the um, outline for the night. The outline for the night. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna do the. I guess we'll do the news. We'll get through the news because I want to save the other couple of things and give people a chance to get in here. That might be a, a little bit late coming. Like Triple R is just coming in here, right? You know. So we'll go through the news first because a lot of it is just reactions to stuff. But we'll, we'll go through the news first. First things first. The alternate universe Optimus Prime, as offered by Takara, was shown. What I didn't realize based on earlier pictures that seems to be the case based on the Takara picture. And somebody can tell me that has it. I didn't go in on it because I don't really care about it. Is the stripe on the trailer purple or lavender? Like, that's what it looks like in the Takara uh, picture. Somebody who has it, tell me. Is the stripe on the trailer like a weird lavender color? Uh, so we saw that. I thought that was very strange. And he has a silver blaster. Did the version that everybody has have a silver blaster? Because I didn't think it did. I could be wrong about that. Uh, we saw some pictures of the Prowl Ironhide. Mine still did not ship. Mine is delayed. I got a delay notice. It did not ship. It did not show up on time. I knew it wouldn't. I said it last week that it wouldn't. It didn't. I got a notice saying that it's delayed. My guess is it's going to be delayed till November, like everybody in the U.S. Uh, my cone heads, like they still haven't shipped. They're not due to ship uh, until after October first when they apparently release. We saw pictures of Toy World, Commander of Tactical Operations. It's Toy World's version of Nemesis Prime with a huge shield. It looks gorgeous. Uh, PulseCon exclusives are going to be available to premium members on September 23rd and in the U.S. and Canada on September 24th. The only thing that I would have any interest in is the pit of judgment and the shipping to here is atrocious. Don't see it happening, man. Don't see it happening. We saw uh, gray shot images of the Planet X Shockwave. Planet X has done a great job with the FOC stuff. Their Shockwave looks stellar. I'd love to see the color uh, version, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks spectacular. I really do. We had some, I'll say, corporate news in that E1... And Hasbro, of course, they've been working together. Hasbro has recently uh, obtained Peppa Pig and PJ Masks. Snake Eyes will be in the fall now of 2021. Uh, there's an unnamed Action Man uh, project that's like in the vault to do. I find that very interesting as an offshoot from G.I. Joe, of course, in Europe. G.I. Joe was better known as Action Man or, or like a relation of it is my understanding. Uh, Mask apparently is in the works, as is Power Rangers and Pound Puppies and Visionaries and uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So a lot of nostalgia, man, up and coming. Don't think I'm going to be able to hold back on Mask. I'm excited about that. Uh, I, I'm finding it all hard enough with the uh, G.I. Joe stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, just going back up here, checking in with you guys a little bit. Because I know I miss some stuff. Hey, Waluigi. Happy to see you here, buddy. Um, as we go down here, thanks for watching. Love the color. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. Rotor Storm. Like, I don't even know the character, I know nothing about him, but I love the color scheme and I love the mold. That spinister mold is amazing. Hey, Nathaniel, uh, what's my favorite voice actors for Optimus Prime and Megatron? Um, Peter Cullen and Frank Welker. There's nobody else. Uh, also, what G1 reissue do you want to see at Walmart? Don't care. Not in for the G1 reissues in the least. We stopped getting them long, 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 long time ago. I don't even pay attention to it, to be honest with you. Like, we didn't get any Astro Trains. We didn't get any uh, Devastators. We didn't get any of the cassettes. No sound waves. No, we're not going to get Blaster. They don't sell here. They go marked down to, like, 6 and $7, and they just don't sell here. So, um, fair question, but... <sighs> 
it doesn't apply to me because I'm not buying it anyway. Uh, if I was to say anything, it would probably be like the Datsuns. I think it'd be cool if they got a reissue, but uh, it's it's not. I'm not. I'm not the market for it. I'm just not the market for it. Uh, have you been able to find any of the other places to what? Have you been able to find any other place to pre-order Earthrise, Bumblebee, Soundwave, so far? Walmart is useless. Uh, I haven't even looked. I'm not getting either of them. So. I don't think so. I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Not yet. And not until Takara does them in like six months or a year. Um, not really. I haven't seen them anywhere. I haven't seen, they're not on walmart.ca at all. So we haven't had wave one, let alone wave two. So like, again, like I don't think the Netflix stuff is happening here. I'll be shocked if it shows up at this point. I'm, I'm not really in for any of it. I got hot link. That's what I was in for out of the, Second wave, I don't even know who's in it. I'm not going to lie. I did know who's in it, but I don't really pay attention to it. I don't think there's anybody in the second wave I want, uh, except Nemesis Prime. And I did find a place to reorder him, but just him. I haven't seen anyone else from the Netflix stuff. And that was tftoys.ca where I ordered my Nemesis Prime. Um, I think you're going Sovereign Knight. I think you're going to struggle to find pre-orders for that. I could be wrong, but I think you're going to struggle. Has anyone seen Earthrise Optimus Prime still in stores? Uh, yeah, I could go put my hands on Earthrise on one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven Earthrise Primes. Uh, I don't know if he's hard to get. He's not hard to get here. Um, but I mean, he wasn't hard to get here in February. So, uh, let's see. Hey, Autocorrect Primer. Uh, by the way, I was on uh, with and I had an interview with ACP uh, ooh, Sunday, and that was an absolute blast. Uh, go and check it out. By all means, go and check it out. Um, Amazon had a silver blaster. Oh, okay. Amazon had a silver blaster. In interesting. Okay. Uh, Motormaster-esque? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, kind of. Uh, no to the trailer. Interesting. I wonder why their pictures then from Takara had like this weird lavender -y color. I guess it was a, like just their their test sample, I guess. I don't know. But it's weird that that would be in the pictures. And I saw it. I was like, that seems jarring. That seems like a strange choice. Uh, I saw him at Toys Rush after 20% off. My target has had two this morning. Um, hey, young boomer. Um, it's going. It's going, man. Living the life, you know, living the life. Thanks, input. I appreciate it, buddy. I will. I think MGO reviewed a Planet X Shockwave. He may have. Years ago. I'd be surprised if it was years ago. Maybe he did. Um, Zad28 is the iconic mask recall. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The one with Matt Tracker. As a matter of fact, I still have that. Thunderhawk. I still have my Thunderhawk. Not with the stickers, I don't think. But my Matt Tracker I have, and my Matt Tracker is the one that had the short helmet. Like, it didn't have that stupid square thing down. It had, he had the short helmet, which apparently was, like, the rarer one. So I was happy about that because that's the way the guy looked on the show. And even as a boy, that's what I wanted. Still got my uh, Boulder Hill, too, kicking around. Uh, flying Camaro. Use the old vehicle molds and update the figure's mask per perfection. I agree. Yeah, use the... Use the original mask vehicles, reissue them, but give better articulation and whatnot to the drivers and stuff. Absolutely, Razor Bear. I'm with you 100%. Masters of the Universe Origins, uh, Scareglow went up for pre-order on Amazon. They, look, Mattel got something really special with their Masters of the Universe line that they're doing. Really special. And it's going to be hot. It's already hot and selling out quickly. Um, I think they're going to hit gold there with the nostalgia folks like us. Try TF Source. You could try TF Source. Hasbro has done, but TF Source might be a bit expensive. Marvel has done, or sorry, Hasbro has done Marvel crossovers a few years ago. Yeah, they did. Uh, just picked up Skylings today at Walmart. Niagara Falls. So have what? At Walmart, Niagara Falls. Interesting. Uh, Skylings is beautiful, and I bet, I bet, I bet you're going to agree with me when I say that no review does him justice to being in hand. No review does him justice. He is that good. Uh, ne Nemesis Prime is everywhere. Yeah, 
I, because people actually want that set, unlike the uh, Wave 1 uh, Ultra Magnus. Everybody wants the Nemesis one. How much was Nemesis Prime on TF Toys? 18, 89. It, it was pricier, but uh, A3U was sold out, and I don't trust Walmart to get it, so it is what it is. Uh, I went in on it because I know I want him. I love the Siege mold, which is what the cab is. I love the trailer. I love that it comes with a trailer. Um, and I love all the add-ons. I even like the fact that he comes with uh, um, Giza. Well, Giza, who's a snake now instead of a bird. But you get the idea. Uh, you can never you uh, You ever use Dorkside toys? Uh, nope. I've never used them. I think they're a U.S. company. Um, I would if I had to, but I'm not a big fan of paying cross-border shipping, and I'm not a big fan of paying customs if I can avoid it. But I've heard good things, Sovereign. Uh, honestly, I've heard really good things about the company. I haven't used them myself, but I've heard nothing but good things. Um, hey, Phantom Wolf Productions, I appreciate that. Uh... Yeah, the Nemesis Prime is, is really good. I, I got to say, like, he looks really good. I'm totally in for it. Uh, Dorkside Toys has Nemesis Prime pre-order. There you go. So try Dorkside Toys. Uh, I, like I said, I've heard nothing at all but good things. The uh, MOTU stuff is priced so affordably. Sold out everywhere. Uh, but Battle Cat right away, absolutely same thing here. I saw the pricing, and I said, wow, that's super affordable. Here's the funny thing. The price in Canada for them is the same as it is in the U.S., same price. Um, yeah, I think that's priced right. Absolutely, I think that's priced right. And they're selling like hotcakes. Like, absolutely. We had a couple of Battle Cats sticking around for a while. Even they're sold out now. Uh, so anybody who's into them, I think it's going to be a stupendous line. Uh, I love Skylinks. I agree, he's impressive in hand. Yeah, absolutely is. Uh, what about... The League Cup. Waluigi, we're not there yet. I'm going down through the news. We're going to get there. Uh, opening him now. So beautiful. Enjoy. Absolutely enjoy. Uh, what are we talking about right now? We're just going through the news. Uh, I'm getting through that. we got a couple of other things to talk about after, but we're, we're going through the news there now. Uh, hey, Tommy. The 86 Cup and Hot Rod. Hot Rod look decent. Do they, though? Do they, though, look decent? We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, not enough for me to get them. Let's see. I think the snake is called, Fang no, it's Giza Fangtron is what it is. It is Giza, but now he's Giza Fang. Well, it's probably a different Giza, but it is Giza Fangtron, Waluigi. Uh, Giza is, if you saw the Power of the Prime's leader class, Nemesis Prime, Giza was the sword, basically, that turned into a bird. That was Giza. Uh, it's just now Giza is a snake instead of a bird. Might be two different Gizas. Um, uh, let's see. We're going down here. Uh, Nemesis Prime is my favorite character. I can see that. I, I, are you sure, Triple R, that Nemesis Prime is your favorite character, buddy? I think it's the Seekers. I think they're your favorite. Uh, can't wait until they reveal Ga uh, redo Galvatron. I don't know. I mean, I have the Uni Toys Mania King. It got to be something special to replace him because he's fantastic. Uh, try to pre-order the Netflix Nemesis Prime on Dorkside Toys today after the live. Yeah, yeah, try do it, man. Uh, Matia, Matia. I have no idea how to say your name, but I tried saying your name. Uh, I think they look great. Uh, ACP, yeah, I'm all in for Masters of the... I, I would be, but again, like, I don't have the space for... I, how do you, I don't know how you guys do all these lines, man. I don't have the money nor the space for it. I just don't have it, man. In terms of Nemesis Prime, my favorite version has been the Scourge from... See, I don't see Scourge as Nemesis Prime. I don't even see him as the same character. I see Scourge as a different character from Nemesis Prime. I know a lot of people tend to see him the same. I don't. I see him as two completely, utterly separate characters. Interestingly enough, um, Super Megatron is my most wanted. Got the guy on pre-order, man. Can't wait for him to ship out. Have never touched the mold as Galvatron. Know nothing about it, so I can't wait. This is going to be my ooh first experience with the mold, so I'm 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 
stoked. I am excited. Uh, hey, Adrian. Uh, did you know that TFP breakdown? Yes, I know. I know. We're going to talk about it as we go down through right now uh, with their arms, my crunch. Yep. We're going to keep going here now because we're kind of caught up. We're going to keep going. Uh, hey, John, if I didn't say it already. So going on down through here, we saw Optimus Prime comparisons between the Netflix and the Earthrise. Biggest difference being that the Netflix has a darker blue. The head is a bit of a different sculpt, mostly the faceplate and I think around the eyes. I like the lighter blue personally. Now, that being said, I also done a bunch of custom paint app and I made the light blue kind of wrap around the back of the leg. Starscream Wife, however, uh, I showed her the comparison and I didn't even tell her what it was. And I just said, which Optimus is better? And she consistently chose the one with the dark blue. She liked the darker colors and she liked his chest better. Than the like light blue chest that's on the Earthrise Optimus. Funny enough, I like the light blue chest on the Earthrise Optimus better. So, kind of, uh, kind of interesting. I thought that was kind of, I thought that was kind of funny to be honest with it with you. Uh, thank you very much, Analog Ninja. I absolutely appreciate it. Uh, Optimus six pack. The Earthrise Prime figure is growing on me. Um, my favorite is the cone heads. You know what? Fair enough. I honestly. Uh, by the way, is 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 it Madia or Media? Like, is it a sh short A or a long A? Um, Nemesis Prime is my favorite character because I'm a trucker. You know what? That makes total sense, Triple R. Honestly, buddy, that makes 100% sense. Um, oh, we put them on the floor, Dennis, just like just like the Lux stars with floor time. <laughs> I can believe that. I can absolutely believe that, Crimson. Um, Floor time. Uh, floor time with chicken. You gotta love chicken. Um, uh, we also saw comparisons with the sound wave. The sound wave has a red visor. That's great. Uh, he turns into the cassette player. That's great. I don't think the legs can go back. I do find the yellow jarring. I would prefer if it was gold or the yellow around the, the piece on his chest. I wish it was a darker yellow, kind of like the two lines going out the sides. I, I, I find the Yellow little jarring on the sound wave. He's not bad. And if you didn't get the Siege, absolutely get this one because it's a fantastic mold. Even with the remolded parts here, it is fantastic. Do it. Uh, as we go down through 115 Utopia, they have an upgrade kit for Studio Series Sentinel Prime. Apparently it gives him ankles and it gives him leg fillers. It gives him a shield and a uh, like double sword thing it looks great i assume it incorporates very well they've done some nice add-on kits i think that this is one that kind of makes the studio series our sentinel prime kind of a quintessential movie sentinel prime we also as was mentioned earlier know that double crossers out in the u.s not out in canada yet uh red alert we saw some of the netflix red alert images looks nice honestly looks really nice I, again, I'm iffy on certain aspects of the battle damage, but I do like the fade white. Like, I like the bright white that kind of fades out with uh, ash or whatever on it. I, I like that look. I think that that is battle damage done right. The big black blotch on his shoulder, eh, not so much fan of it. Uh, Rotor Storm is beautiful. What can I say? I'm, I'm, he's showing up at EB Games. I'm waiting for mine to come. Can't wait for him to come. I'm also waiting on my Tiger Track. I watched Larkin's uh, review on Tiger Track earlier. Mine, <laughs> again, mine's pre-ordered through EB Games. It was released September 1st. They haven't called me to pick up my pre-order yet. So I, hopefully soon, I guess. Uh, what else do we have here? Going down, going down. We saw some more of the last night art. And we saw pictures of a character. And I was like, who is this guy, man? And it was a character called Sidekick. And he looked kind of cool. And then I found out that Sidekick is who became Hot Rod. Why did they do that? You should have just left it a sidekick. I might have picked it up. I might have said, hey, a new out about a new character. I'm in for sidekick. But because you call it Hot Rod, I was like, that's not Hot Rod. And I did not buy it. Simple as that. So there's a lot to say in the name, man. Just saying. There's a lot to say in the name. They should have stuck with sidekick. It was something new. We saw Mighty Jack's Little Max vinyls. Mostly the same body with like rounded heads. If you're into vinyls that are cute, get them, I guess. Studio Series showed... Cup and Hot Rod. Uh, Cup kind of half transformed, sort of. I like the colors. 
I like the two shades of green. I like the look of the arms, although the look of the arms look very much like the uh, 3D printed arms that I got on the Titans Return Cup. So, I don't know. Um, it was mistransformed. I need to see how solid it holds together in robot mode. I need to see how cumbersome or easy the transformation is. The chest on the cup looks more like detailing than a windshield. I don't like that. I hope something covers that or turns around or something. If that's just there's like molded in tech detailing or, or that's painted silver, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I need to see more. I'm not saying it's bad, but I need to see more. The hot rod, uh, it looks like his visor can probably pull down over his eyes. I like that. If his visor is just on his eyes and that's the way the head sculpt is, I don't like that. The arms were obviously mistransformed. I need to see more. And he has a lot of junk hanging off of his legs, man. A lot of car junk hanging off of his legs. I need to see a lot more. I feel like that it's an altered form of the Power of the Primes version. And the Power of the Primes version is hot garbage, hot trash. Simple as that. So people saying they are they look excellent. I, I, I can't speak to it yet. I need to see a lot more. The fossilizer caught my attention. Very interesting. I think the back of his head is Optimus Primal's mace. Outside of that, um, it's hard to tell. We didn't see a lot of detail, but I, it's interesting. I don't know why it would turn into a skeleton, but whatever. It's different. It's unique. I'm probably going to get it for the sake of it being different and unique. Plus, since I do kind of uh, like have a penchant for... Uh, kind of like old knights and stuff, so to speak, in the Transformers universes. I see this is kind of able to maybe fit with them. So we'll see. We'll see. I want to see more, but I, I like what I'm seeing so far. Uh, MPM Ratchet is actually, and I remember talking about him and saying, why, why is he like green and then the door is yellow? Like, why is he like two shades? But he's not. He's all one shade, which I like. Looks great. The head sculpt looks beautiful. I wonder if he's a little too yellow and not enough green, but that's open for debate. Uh, we also have, uh, let's see, we had some more images of Megatron from Earthrise and uh, some comparisons with Optimus Prime, which were cool. Queen Studio showed their bum uh, Bumblebee bus from the movie. And we, last but not least for the news, we have the two-pack of the Jet Viacon and the um, war breakdown from Transformers Prime to celebrate the 10th anniversary. First, hard to believe, man, it was 10 years ago Prime started. This is great because North America never got the Jet Viacon, never got war breakdown. Um, I've never held a deluxe Viacon, a jet or car. I've never held a deluxe Viacon. Don't know them old. Don't have it. Means nothing to me. Would I like to? Yeah, sure. Uh, am I in for this? I don't know. Depends on the price, I guess. Um, I think it's cool for people that are big collectors of Prime. I'm happy to see it. Some people said, I hope they do more. I don't think they're going to do more. I think that what they're doing to celebrate is taking molds that were only released in Japan. And now you, the fans, who already have a full Transformers Prime collection, have the opportunity to add these missing molds to your collection. That's what I feel. But they may also be using it to as like a litmus test to kind of test to see how well it sells and how much of a demand is there still now for Transformers Prime characters. Because now we're getting this. We're also getting in the red line. We're getting Knockout and we're getting RC. So we have a few Transformers Prime offerings on the horizon. I think they're testing it out to gauge interest. I'm just going to lay that down there. I'm going to check in with you guys because I know I've missed a whole bunch of the chat. And I do want to go back here. Um, let's see here. Uh, hey, Brian. Uh, as we go down here. I just want to get caught up here. Uh, yeah, they need to hurry up with Thrust. I agree. Uh, I'm missing all three of them at this point. Um, but I do have the other two pre-ordered. Honestly, it should have been a three-pack with thrust as far as I'm concerned. Um, Soundwave is a must. Uh, and a Sound Blaster repaint. Yeah, I could see that happening, actually, Jay, because not enough people got Sound Blaster. I could absolutely see that happening. Are they offering the Coneheads again? Well, there are... I don't know if... They're not, it's not that they're offering it again. It's that 
do you have the dirge and the ramjet two pack from amazon um my favorite character devastator um go down here uh adrian says in my opinion there are three black optimus primes they are black convoy car robots nemesis prime uh g1 and grand scourge uh with honestly adrian i tend to agree with you yeah absolutely i see them as all separate i tend to agree with you uh hey optimus prime sp crimson and not sure where larkin got his <laughs> larkin got black magic that's where he gets his from man i dennis nikki was very happy with rotor storm see there you go actually hot rod from the last night would have been better suited being called sideburn Okay, if you say so. I again, I, I don't know if I would have bought it a sideburn. I don't care about you. I couldn't care less about Unicron trilogy. Like, there's nothing about it I like. There's nothing about it that appeals to me. I don't like the character designs. I don't like the stories. I don't like the name reuses. I, I don't know. I would have preferred him to be sidekick. Honestly, honestly, Sam, I would have preferred for him to be sidekick. But you know what? Either way, we can agree on one thing. He never should have been a hot rod. I got Rotor Storm August 28th and felt lucky. Yeah, you were very lucky. Uh, I still don't have Tiger Tracks. See? See? Uh, also, pre order three B games. Hey, look at that. Great minds think alike, buddy. Uh, did I miss the Dragon Mode? You did, but I'm just going to show it again because you asked so nicely. Oh, oh, gosh, he's heavy, though. Because you asked so nicely, Phantom Wolf, here's the Dragon Mode all days. And I'll just reiterate this for people coming in late that missed it. You transform him into the uh, you transform him into the scorpion. You take off the head and you leave the legs in the back, and then these two claws turn forward and become the dragon heads. Is this we talked earlier? Is this official? Uh, kinda, sorta. It was in the cartoon for Black Zarek. Or, as Input pointed out, technically, this is Devil Z. Technically. And uh, this was you know this was kind of what happened when Devil Z took over Black Zarek's body. But you know what? The Scorponok mold can pull off the Devil Z, Devil Z dragon mode quite nicely. I wanted, like, a Devil Z, like, just the, just the head of Devil Z. Like, just a weird blob thing. Like, make that happen. Um, can't wait for the 86 Studio Series. I... And a lot of people are excited about the 86 Studio Series. I don't like it. I don't like that they're crossing generations with Studio Series. Studio Series is movies. Generations is everything else. This is going over the lap. I, I don't... It's not that I'm not going to get it necessarily. I might. I might not. I need to see more. I need to see a lot more. Um, but know your lane. That's, that's how I feel. Know your lane. I know a lot of people are excited about it, but I don't... You're getting the same characters now in both generations. Line. Why are there even two? Merge them into one now if that's the case because there's no need to have two. Like, that's the way I'm starting to feel about it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what little personality he has him being... What? What? What little personality he has him being fascinated with looking good and getting the girls, which matches up closer to sideburn than hot rod. If you say so, I honestly, Sam, I don't... I can't even have an intelligent conversation about it. everything about unicron trilogy hurts me to watch it puts me in pain it's as simple as that i can't have an intelligent conversation uh but for those of you that know what sam's talking about apparently his attitude better match cyburn that's the best i can say uh cyburn is blue yeah but i mean i wouldn't worry so much about the character or about the colors adrian but and they could have painted the hot rod blue Maybe if he was blue and somebody reminded me what Sideburn looked like, maybe I'd have been in for it. I don't know. I don't know why Hasbro uh, mistransforms uh, me either. The picture is even for that Nemesis Prime. You'll notice that the front bumper isn't even pulled down and the chest cannot close all the way because of uh, you know the fact it's mistransformed. Um, the awesome person. Fun fact about Hot Rod. He came with a lot of stuff. Saw blade, fuel kind of thingy, visor, gun, matrix, and a couple of blast effects. What Hot Rod is that? The awesome person. What Hot Rod came with all that? Uh, I never got the Ironhide and Prowl 2 pack from Amazon. I did. Mine's delayed. We'll see what happens. Uh, as we go down here. Hey, Geek Man. Uh, Tiger Electronics handheld Transformers G2 game from Amazon. Oh, really? It wasn't for me, but anybody who got it, cool, I guess. I got screwed out of my Coneheads. What? 
Why did you get screwed on your cone heads, Boss Gunny? I actually, what? The actual leg for Hot Rod are mistransformed. As seen in the blurry images, we saw everything about is mistransformed. I don't know why, whoever got them in hand, why are you taking these like half transformed garbage trash pictures? You've done the same thing with thrust and stuff too. Just do it right and take a good picture. It's not that hard. Uh, I'm going to take a break from Transformers and get Marvel Legends. Well, you could certainly do that, Geek Man. It's up to you. That's a big rabbit hole to fall down into. It reminds me of Transmetal 2 Dinobot. Uh, I actually, I think you're talking about the fossilizer. Actually, it reminds me of Transmetal 2 Dinobot as well, input. I thought the same thing, but I didn't want to say it. I'm glad it's not just me. Amazon has to do better. They do have to do better. Hey, Grimlock God, haven't made anything new. Uh, rebuilding leg brace. That would take up your time. Glad people are getting a chance to get it. Um, I don't even know what Tice is saying. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it'd be cool if they made uh, figures of the other types of Viacons. I agree. Other Viacons would be great. Uh, my cone heads arrived in a box. In a box. In a box. Cool. Cool. I don't think I like, I don't know if you're in the U.S., Chris, or Canada, or what, but I don't think Canada is doing the no box thing. Uh, fossilizers creep me out. I can see that. Uh, they are factory prototype leaks, Dennis, and not official. No, I know they're not official photos, Crimson. But like, even if you got a leak from the factory, do you have any sense? Like, transform the thing. Don't take a half transformed picture. It looks bad. It doesn't showcase the product well I, at least it doesn't for me it doesn't for me all it does for me is say oh yeah look at that i need to see a lot more before i say anything good or bad about it um i was supposed to be on the way to chris um basically they were working with test shots and trying to figure out how things you're right but like don't take the picture before you got to figure it out uh i want a gary in the prime toy line uh, okay i don't know who gary oh gary oh yeah okay uh, the only hot rod figure here in the uh, here is the Titans Return hot rod. I don't need any more hot rod figures. Honestly, I like the Titans Return hot rod. Hey, Robert. Uh, busy, buddy. Busy. I'm always busy. Story of my life, baby. Okay, so we are going to do the trivia next. Trivia time. Trivia time. Here we go. This one's easy. This one I think is an easy one. Which combat combaticon, of course, this is uh, given to us by a good friend of the channel, Dragonfly. Which combaticon is a master strategist? Is it A, Vortex, B, Onslaught, C, Brawl, or D, Swindle? Who's the master tactician? Uh, we have Onslaught, 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 B, they're saying... Um, Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, Crimson, about the factory markings. Uh, you're probably right, but still, don't take the picture showing the markings. There's ways to work around this to get something that looks good. Uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's Onslaught. You guys got it. That was an easy one, right? That was an easy one. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Apparently, there was debate this week and talk this week, and somebody, I need to find it because I took the screenshots, and I actually want to kind of tell it to you. And I want to give give proper credit and shout out. Somebody kind of exemplified, I guess, that apparently there's this whole Earthrise story I had no idea about. I don't even know if this is true or if it's just what he's pieced together from the, like, the little red things and posters and stuff. The guy I read it from, his name is Zachary. I want to give him a shout out because it's interesting information. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to read it to you guys in case you have not yet uh, kind of experienced it. Let's go back here. So apparently there was a poster. I'm, I'm going to read exactly what he had, actually. Um, a bit of the poster is used in a collage in every box. Snapdragon's box art is also set in the ship because he was also uh, planned to be a mercenary. Apparently Snap Snapdragon is a mercenary. Apparently the leader of the mercenaries is Double Dealer. I didn't know this. The pieces of the Earthrise map that are with figures out so far when put together suggest that the Quintessons 
hired the mercenaries on Char to go after the Ark on its journey to Earth. I can believe that. That makes logical sense. Uh, the, the Decepticon Earthrise poster released by Hasbro features Double Dealer sitting in the captain's chair of the ship with a mercenary symbol on one of the screens in front of him. A bit of the poster is used in the uh, collage on every... Um, uh, like every figure's box. Okay? I don't even know what the poster is he's talking about. I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, one of... Uh, double layers? Is that what it is? Um, there are four ships apparently listed uh, and four factions in Earthrise. Bots, cons, quints, and mercenaries. The mercenary ship the mercenary ship is called Fool's Fortune. The map key is on Scorpinox Peace. Now, if you go to the wiki, the wiki has said, we don't know what Fool's Fortune is yet. Evidently, according to this guy, wherever he got it from, he's saying that that's the mercenary ship. And apparently it's captained by Double Dealer. I have no idea if there's any fact to this. It's engaging to hear it, but I don't know if it's theory or fact. One of Double Dealer's cases, probably the G1 hardcore fans, they are still considered mercenaries in the Earthrise packaging art and included lore. They're saying He's saying included lore, but I don't know any included lore. I feel like he's making it up, but maybe it's right. Maybe it's right. Maybe he just has insight that I don't have that's more than possible. Um, and the map pieces included with Earthrise figures list the four ships. I... Make of it what you will. I think it's very compelling and engaging. I have I have heard nothing official to know if that's true. But you know what I would be interested to know? When they do the next chapter on Netflix, if that's the way the story follows. I'll be very interested to know if the story follows that the Quintessons hire the mercenaries on char to go after the Ark. I'll be very interested to see that, if that's the case. And... And I'll be very interested uh, to kind of see if there's more mercenaries than just Sound Blaster that like appear on the show. Like, is uh, Snapdragon a mercenary? Is uh, Double Dealer a mercenary? Will Bug Bite be there? It's interesting. It's interesting to, to think about. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I think it's interesting. Um, Transformers Day? No. Work, Robert. I was at work all day, buddy. Uh, every day is Transformers Day. That's true. Every day is Transformers Day. Uh, and actually, yes, that's right. I know what you're saying. Transformers Day. It was 36 years ago today. 36th anniversary of Transformers. That's how old we're getting, guys. That's how old we're getting. Um, what is Transformers Day? It's the anniversary of G1. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I like that idea. See, ACP likes it. Hey, Zach. Uh, Vortex. Good guess. It was Onslaught. Um, big spoiler for Theory. Seems like it, doesn't it, Blue? I was hoping the map gimmick would play a part in the story arc. Just me? No, I was hoping it would too, and maybe it will. I Again, take what I'm telling you there with a grain of salt. I It could totally be this guy just retconning it in his head and putting it together and coming up with this idea. There is nothing official or factual about it. I just think it's interesting to ponder it to see if it becomes official. I think he provides, I think Zachary provides excellent, interesting, dynamic information. I'll be interested to see what comes of it, if anything. Um, Crimson says he picked up, what? I picked up four cogs today so I can make the, oh, I picked up four cogs today so I can make up the, what? Condiment four pack? Oh, ketchup, mustard, cog, cog salsa. Oh, that's terrible, Crimson. They were out of, uh, what? They were out of Burlington Coat Factory. What? They were at Burlington Coat Factory? <laughs> what? That's nuts. Um, did you ever see that? Did you see that TFCon is going to be online this year? Yeah, I did. I don't care. I don't care about any of these cons. I can't get to any of them. So, yeah, cool, I guess. Are we surprised? I would say cons for all next year are going to be online, too. Everything's going to be online, man, until we get a vaccine for this thing. Uh, bug bite must b shadow glass b uh bug bite is he has a mercenary symbol on his chest right but i i kind of agree with you yeah he's like a sgb right uh hot rod with the uh saw visor fuel thingy blah 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 gun matrix blast effects is 86 hot rod where are you getting this from the awesome person because i haven't seen any of that i'm highly skeptical of you saying that 
highly skeptical. So I'd like to know where you're getting that information from. Um, I need a source, buddy. Uh, who thinks the trilogy will include time travel? Well, it's already been confirmed it's going to include time travel, Chris. That's a confirmed thing, buddy. Uh, in Kingdom, it's going to be time travel. There's talk that the arc will actually be Vector Prime. We'll see. Uh, Woohoo, I'm what? I'm 21. Congratulations, Blue. I, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, bug bite is shattered glass bug bite. But, okay. Bug bite does not sound friendly. Just saying, bug bite's not friendly. He's not a good guy. Bug bite's not a good guy, guys. Uh, but that's just a theory, uh, game theory. Uh, Cyburn is from Car Robots, not Unicron Trilogy. Okay. If you say so, Adrian. I don't, honestly, I don't care. I don't remember, like, Cyburn doesn't stick out to me. I like Car Robots. I've watched it once or twice. I thought it was a great show. Short run, too short of a run. Not going to lie. Virtually nobody on it stands out to me. I don't remember anybody about it. Nobody was memorable other than Optimus and Megatron and Skybite. Uh, I know Skybite had the other Predacons, like Gas Skunk was that one of them. I don't remember any of the other guys' names. Scourge stood out to me. Uh, Ruination stood out to me, but I can't remember any of the names of the individual guys. Outside of Optimus, I don't remember any of the Autobots. Oh, and Magnus. Outside of those two, I remember zero of the Autobots. Zero. Great series. Great series. Just bad memory, man. Just bad memory. Uh, when Hasbro revealed Double Dealer and Snapdragon, they were called Mercenaries. And see, we're getting that Waluigi. I don't remember anything about them being called Mercenaries. Like, you're saying the same thing that Zachary Guy is saying. Where are you guys getting this? No, I don't remember anything about them being called mercenaries. This is a first. Like, I'm this many days and years old that I learned this. Um, reliable source. No, 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 no. Not a reliable source on the boards. I'm not going with any sources on the boards. I don't. That's too much conjecture. So I don't call it a reliable source if it's just someone on the boards. I need something official. Otherwise, it's rumor and speculation. Um, yeah, I know what you're saying about the hot rod, but I'm I'm not buying it. It's just a guy on the boards. He might not have a clue what he's talking about. So I need official. I need visual proof of that. I'm not saying you're wrong. You might be right, but I'm not going to report it as news until I have proof of it. For now, I'll say interesting to have all of these accessories, but it's pure rumor and speculation. But interesting thought. Kind of like the Earthrise story. Interesting thought. Nothing I've told you there is news. Nothing I've told you there is confirmed. And same here. We have now heard, thanks to the awesome person, we have heard that there will be a ton of accessories with the hot rod. Do not take it as fact until we get official confirmation. That's all I'm saying. Uh, what do I think about Transformers Dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime voiced by Leonard Nimoy? Um, Leonard Nimoy is a genius and brilliant and I miss him all the time. I remember that people thought Bug Bite was going to be Transformers AOE movie years ago. I don't remember anything about that. What about Scourge? Uh, bad memory. That's all part of us getting old. And man, pardon for me. Cyburn was annoying. Sounds like it. Anything that gets brought over from Japan and then they dub it in English is usually annoying and poorly done because they rush it. Um, uh, Cookie Day? Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, SG Bug Bite looks exactly like Bug, Bug Bite with a mustache. Yeah. He does. Um, did you see the concept art for Skylinks? I did see the concept art for Skylinks. Interesting. I'm glad we got what we got rather than the concept art because I feel like the concept art was a little too stylized for my taste personally. Okay. Now that we've got all of that done, we get to the last thing and then I can get out of here and kind of enjoy some of my night. And Starscream Wife has been very understanding today because I also had to film the countdown for tomorrow, the top 10 headmaster characters tomorrow. That's going to go up. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, so I have on hold for me a Quintesson. Uh, unfortunately, the store and in Canada, um, they're not supposed to put them out until October 1st. Some places have put them out early and some people have got them early. The stores in my area are actually actually honoring the street date, which is driving me nuts because I know it's there waiting for me. Um, my, as of today, one year from when I bought him, one year from when I bought him, uh, my Zeta Unicron finally shipped today. Uh, 
I didn't want to pay the extra $78 for shipping. So I waited because the shipping I had chosen was ship when pandemic's over. I think it was just when the mail went back to normal. And now mail here in Canada has gone back to normal. So um, I got him for, and I'll explain, I'll talk about it when I actually get him. I got him for one third the price of the HasLab, of what the HasLab Unicron would be. One third, not half, one third, which is going to affect the way that I grade him and look at him. But I'm in, interested for him to come. Uh, still waiting, like I said, on Tiger Track and whatnot. Now, what did I actually get? Well, I got to give a shout out to Event Progenitor. Event Progenitor sent me this envelope. And in this envelope, he has a ton of Toy Hacks labels for me. Uh, not the least of which is the Toy Hacks labels for Cliff Jumper, Earthrise Cliff Jumper, who I have said time and again, I don't particularly like. I don't think it looks like Cliff Jumper. I don't like the Autobot symbol on the hood rather than on the roof, therefore being on his chest. This one sticker right here, this red one, could cover that up, and I have an alternate for the chest. I don't know. Will I get him? If I can get him on sale, but I said that all along. If I could get him on sale... I, I would, but I'm not paying full price for it. I have some stickers for uh, Titans Return Highbrow. And I have a bunch here. Uh, that's also for Highbrow. And I have a bunch here for Power of the Primes. Who is this? Uh, Power of the Primes, like Moon Racer and um, like Nova Star and Moon Racer and. Basically, all of the Limbots for them he sent to me. So, thank you so much. The whole reason he sent those is because he was sending these. These are the sword uh, decals for Drift. And if you will recall, when I got my Drift, there were decals on the sword. And they were bent. They had gotten bent in transit, so he actually sent me replacements. So, thank you very much to Event Progenitor for that. There's already a bunch waiting there for me to actually do. I have a ton of toy hack stuff to actually do. Uh, and the other thing, the other thing I'm tickled to have uh, patrons and channel members already know about this. But now for you guys, I finally had shipped and arrived in a box from Amazon, no less, my double dealer. And yes, I do have one cassette in right here. Well, I have his engine, I guess, in right here. That being knock. And I do have Scar on the back. This is going to be really interesting, but I'm going to tell you now, he absolutely is not a leader class. He is definitely more than a Voyager. Definitely more than a Voyager, as you will see in the review when it comes up. But he is, to call him a leader, is also inaccurate. But he's glorious. And I'll say this, even though he's not a leader, I absolutely feel like I got my money's worth with him. I think there's so much here uh love it love it love it if you didn't hear me i said i love it uh guys that's about it let's see i hate long decals I always get the misaligned miss me too alternator fan or uh, sorry uh, aberration um same thing uh acp uh, thank you for the nice i thought he was custom painted for a second there um Brian, and I thought waiting six months for Siege Ironhide from Amazon was bad. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm glad he's coming tomorrow. I hope he actually arrives for you, buddy. I really do. Okay, guys, that's it. We've been here an hour. I appreciate you guys coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I love you guys so very much. Uh, what else can I say? Thanks for dropping by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. As always, hit the subscribe button. Stick around, man. Have some fun with us. Don't forget that we have the countdown coming up tomorrow. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, there's a donate link in the description. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we offer to you through Teespring. You can hit the join button and become a channel member right here on YouTube. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. Never forget that. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams like this, at the stop motion premieres of the old fashioned way, baby, inside the videos.